women tell me they've told me you got kids man i don't really want to deal with that see now rich from like 2010 just in hopes to get laid would have been like oh yeah to- no I'm, I'm done with it i haven't done it in months i would have lied or something at uh, moves out of his parents house and gets uh, custody of his kids back that'd be great he's not an intelligent man skip it up the fucking loser faggot sick of it so i wanted to talk about something funny i was talking to a woman now met her on an app we talked back and forth uh she seemed nice so we had a conversation and i said oh i took my i took some medical marijuana to go to sleep which was true she got home i told her hey she's asking what are you doing oh i'm in bed i took some medical marijuana it helps me it helps me sleep Right after that, she stopped messaging me as much. <laughs> Today, she goes to me, yeah, I'm not 420 friendly for personal reasons. I'm like, you saw that was in my, pro- like, I don't hide it. I put it in my profile. It's, and I'm like, you do realize, I said, there are, uh, look, that's fine. I don't, like, I don't care. It just baffled me, like, as you're drunk at a bar, that I tell you that, oh, I took some medical marijuana to help me go to sleep. And I take it during the streams. So I was like, you just, you realize that like, it just sounds strange that you went out drinking last night, but you're not 420 friendly. She's like, how is that strange? It's just my personal beliefs. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I said, look, because it's not just about medical marijuana. It probably means in a lot of other ways we wouldn't get along together anyway. So Believe me, it's fine. Why is it so fucking demonized? And tough shit. Like, man, I'm 40. I don't care. I love my kids. I have I I love my family. I got a good job. I'm good. I don't need to I'm not looking to rush into anything. So you tough shit if you don't want to deal with that. I am not I wouldn't stop I wouldn't stop taking medical edibles for anybody. One's not okay because what? Because you probably had a boyfriend when you were 17 who was selling weed and crack. A lot of times they'll, they'll come back and say it is, they, is that women tell me, they've told me, you got kids, man. I don't really want to deal with that. You got this, man. I don't really want. They're, uh, they're, they're looking for someone who's 40 single and baggage free. <laughs> and I said to him, I, I said, I'm like, that, that would be a mannequin. Because, and I guess I could say that you get pickier as you get older too. And I know I have, I don't, I, I, I like probably like 2012 rich would have pretended with that woman that like, oh, okay, no, no, I don't take it anymore. I don't take it anymore. I'm not like to like now it's like, I don't give a shit, man. I'm not changing myself for anybody, you know, see now rich from like 2010, just in hopes to get laid would have been like, oh yeah, to- no, I'm I'm done with it. I haven't done it in months. I would have lied or something, <clears throat> you know, to- or not lied, but I would have just tried to appease her. I probably maybe would have stopped if we started dating. <laughs> 20, 40 year old, 2021 rich doesn't give a fuck at all. Say the channel has been a downward spiral since he got political and started taking shirt off during streams. It's actually been pretty sad to watch. Um, his life is just completely in shambles. So I try to be kind of nice to him, but um, he keeps picking fights with me, and like I don't understand why. You know, he's he's not an intelligent man. I just I don't. He got pretty woke, didn't he? Like a yeah, yeah. Ago. He he kicks yeah. it with like Vosh and stuff, and like oh no. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. He's he's not great. Um, but anyway, I wish him all the best. I hope that he at, uh, moves out of his parents' house and gets uh, custody of his kids back. That'd be great. Uh, Peter, I- it'll make you sick. I, I I could stomach a lot. I could stomach a lot. I've seen a lot. I, I have seen, unfortunately, um, drug cartel leaders. I don't know how I got. I found the. I don't know if someone sent me the video or I found it getting assassinated where they put a bullet in their head up close in detail. I've, I've seen, and I was like, man, this fucked me up. I'm saying I've literally seen, like, I saw a person, a video, like, 
11 years ago, someone, another drug cartel beheading someone like you saw the beheading from beginning to fi- from beginning to end. Another video I regret seeing. Um, this made me uh, I, I probably more sick than when I saw like those assassination videos and those beheading videos. That was video. That's it. That no, it's a hundred. No one's putting a gun to your head to watch fucking Wings of Redemption. If you don't like them, you move on. I don't like Pat the S- NES Punk. We do have watched his videos, but guess what I do? I just don't watch his shit. I don't like Pat the S- NES Punk. We do have watched his videos, but guess what I do? I just don't watch his shit. Are you retarded? <laughs> 